The story of James Watt and Matthew Bolton began in 1775 when James agreed to partnership with Matthew that would revolutionize industries forever. Although neither one invented the first steam engine, James Watt improved the steam engine and took majority for the credit of its creation. None of this would have been possible without the partnership and finances of Matthew Bolton, who implemented the idea of using steam for many other purposes rather than merely pumping water from the coal mines. James, have you ever thought of using steam for purposes other than pumping water? I mean, think about it. Steam would generate twice the horsepower, twice the manpower, and they could use this in every single industry in the world. You know, if you're right, if I could just make a few adjustments to this piston system here, I know I could make a better and more efficient steam engine than anything in the past. Well then, what are we waiting for? We will lead the Industrial Revolution and be the richest wild dogs London had ever set their eyes on. Yes, sir. You two have been working on this toy for quite a while. What is it? Why, well, let James here explain to you. Give her a demonstration, James, will you? This here is no toy, and it is as a model steam engine. What is what does it do? How does it work? Well, we use heat here. This, this is called the boiler, and we use heat. This boiler is filled with water, but not completely full, or it would not have the room for the water to boil and to turn into steam, would run through this tube here into this piston system, which runs the flywheel. How is the steam created? Well, the steam is created by the heat here, a heat source which would be wood or coal, depending upon the availability of the resources in the area. So coal and wood would be, would be considered the fuel? Right. Okay. So it's in this contraption that's creating the steam, and the steam is turned into mechanical en energy. How are you planning on utilizing that? We plan to utilize the steam to run a flywheel, which will in turn generate power. And it'll, it'll work on transportation and any other contraction we can think of. I'm still confused on the complete process of the steam engine. Can you please explain that a little better? Sure can. What do you say, James? Absolutely. Better yet, I'll have Mr. Bolton fill you in here. From the work that we've been conducting for these past few months. But I must warn you, it's going to make you very rich. Inside a steam engine, as you can see here, steam is produced by boiling water in the vessel called a boiler. The pressure of the expanding steam from the boiler is routed to a piston through steam tubing, which is then used to push a piston to and fro this here hollow tube called a cylinder. This piston fits tightly inside the cylinder. As you can see, the piston is attached to the piston rod as the piston rod goes in and out. It drives another rod called the driving rod. The driving rod drives a wheel called the flywheel. As the driving rod turns, the flywheel, which turns steadily even when the piston is at the end of its stroke and is not pushing, this action creates the power to get a locomotive moving and much, much more. By God, we've done it. Steam power at its finest. What are we waiting for? Let's go change the world. Let's go. After a few modifications, James Watt and Matthew Bolton would perfect the steam engine by increasing the efficiency of the piston to do work on its back backstroke, which paved the way to the Industrial Revolution, transportation, and railroad system.